Hey everybody, this video is just a little bit different. I am doing the five questions, one take tag that you've seen floating around on YouTube here. So I've got my questions. I've got some notes to stay on topic. So here we go. The first question is, what has been your sewing journey? How, what's it look like? When did it start? Who taught you? Any breaks? Well, for me, my sewing journey started as a little girl, watching my mom sewing uh, tank tops and shorts for her eight children. Uh, it was funny, she'd get a piece of fabric and whatever it was, everybody got matching tank tops and shorts, girls and boys. So <laughs> all eight of us looked, uh, looked alike and that was uh, funny. But I grew up watching her sew. Uh, my more formal, uh, I would say my more formal lessons started in high school. I went to a, uh, an industrial technical high school in my city and they had a textiles shop. So I spent three years in there where I learned how to sew, especially it, it was garment sewing because um, the, um, the uh, mission was to prepare you to be, then be able to get a job at two, the, two of the garment factories that were in my city. So the, the high school was preparing us for those types of jobs. Uh, then uh, a break happened, uh, more than 40 years, you know, where you, you got married, you had kids, and uh, you didn't even think about that. And it wasn't until the summer of 2017, that summer, uh, uh, just to challenge myself and give myself a summer project, something creative to do, I said, you know what, I think I will sew something. And um, I got, uh, my mom let me have her little uh, uh, um, sewing machine. It was a little Singer sewing machine, um, very entry level. And I just uh, was rusty and just started back up into sewing. Of course, uh, checking YouTube and uh, following some of the sewers and just re-familiarizing myself with terms and measurements and, and that type of thing. So that's how the journey started. And so since, since 2017, I have been sewing very regularly, regularly. I've been sewing garments and I try to sew a little bit every day. Okay, so let's make sure I had, uh, yep, yeah, I got everything in there. Okay, the second question is, describe your sewing space. Where is it? Is it shared or private? Is it messy or clean? When I started in 2017, my sewing space was my dining room table. And I would drag everything out, work at the table for the allotted time, on the allotted project and then pack everything up, put it away and clean up because we, we ate at that table and we had a, at, at that house, we had an open floor plan. So if you walked in, you, you know, you could see that mess. So from there, I graduated into a little corner of the computer room. So it was, that was a shared space. It was a spare bedroom that we made, had it made it to an office. And um, part of it was the computer area, my husband's area there, and the other part was my sewing space. And that worked fine. I still used the dining room table for cutting. Um, then fast forward to just last year, we moved into this uh, beautiful home that we have here, and it had an extra room, an extra air conditioned room just off of the garage. And when we came to look at the house, the very first thing my husband said when we walked in here, my, my husband said, this is your sewing room. So, you know, he picked it from the beginning. Uh, we, uh, this is the, the room we're in. Uh, we painted it, I had floors put into it, and um, I've got my sewing machine off to there and fabric on one side, patterns on the other side. And I also record in this room. So um, that's it. Uh, it's pretty clean, as, as, as tidy and as clean and straightened up as I can get it. I just recently went through some patterns and really purged out, I don't know, 30 or more patterns and gave those to the Goodwill. And I've got my fabric uh, folded and a couple of it put in, uh, in, in tubs, those uh, big containers, and some of it folded nicely on top where I can see it. 
This room has great natural light. Um, what else about this room? Mm, I uh, It's clean because uh, uh, during uh, my time in the textile shop, we were taught that after the session was done, you had to clean your area. So I still do that. I still, when my time is up or I'm done sewing, I sweep, I you know vacuum, I put the covers on the uh, the machine, uh, I, you know everything, the ironing board, those kinds of things get put away. And so that just works for me. I like to be able to walk back into the room that looks orderly. Okay, that was question number two. Am I still recording? Yeah. <laughs> question number three. See, that's the kind of stuff that I would have edited out. What is it like to be a, you, a sewing YouTuber? Does it meet your expectations? Is it how you thought it would be? Um, reactions from others, etc. cetera. Um, well, let's see. I started, I think I started the channel um, about a year after I start, started sewing. And really, you know, all the sewers that were out there inspired me to start the channel. I loved watching others share their passion for sewing, what they've made, and um, you know, and, and getting inspiration and ideas from that. Uh, it wasn't until I actually met my good friend Jen from today inside Jen's sewing room. We uh, connected on a box of patterns that was uh, some lady was donating in. Uh, the area here and that's how she and I actually connected and first met and um, just in meeting with her and talking with her and she really was like you know you should do it you should do it <laughs> so she was the the inspiration and the, the, the little push that I needed to get out there and uh, give it a try um, the, the setup was minimal it really was I record on my phone my Samsung 9S, something like that it is what it is. So I record on my phone. Um, I have an inexpensive microphone that I think I paid 12 or $15 for. I edit on the free software that came on my uh, computer that's um, um, uh, Movie Maker. That's, that's as sophisticated as I get. And I bought a ring light that was probably, I don't know, 20 or 30 bucks. And that is the extent of my setup. So um, uh, I'll tell you that though, it is a lot of work. There is, I can see the growth that I have had from the beginning, the very first videos that I put out to what I'm putting out now. And um, I, uh, so I can see that I'm much more comfortable in front of the camera. I am much more comfortable with my sewing skills. I can see that I've even gotten better in, in sewing as well. I love the community that YouTube has uh, afforded me, which is uh, not just uh, YouTube sewers, but you guys. I love the interaction that I get with uh, the subscribers, with you all. I feel real close. Some of you watch every one of my videos and comment and, and such beautiful, positive, inspiring, motivating comments that I get from you that I feel like I know you. I really do. I feel like if I went down the street, I would run right into you. I'd know who you are in a minute because I feel like I know your, your heart and your spirit. Um, so that has been wonderful with uh, YouTube. It is hard work, like I said. You are your own production company, your own marketing, your own makeup, your own editing. I mean, you don't have a team of people. This is, this is just you doing it. And you've got to record quite a bit of footage to be able to edit it down <laughs> and get something that you can put up, uh, you know, that, that, that's fairly interesting and, and uh, you know, can put it up for a little bit longer than three minutes. Um, let's see what else. I want to make sure I didn't miss any other thing. Um, um, let's see. That's it. Okay. Question number four. Describe your most memorable project, your total fail, your biggest success. I, um, 
I should have been more ready for this question because I actually have the pattern that I very first, my very first pattern that I made back in 2017 when I first got started, I made a uh, denim dress out of a McCall's pattern and I'll put it up here at the end. I uh, cut it incorrectly so I didn't take the right sizing, I didn't take the right measurements. The denim had was a four-way stretch denim and so I made up the dress and I tried to put it on and I couldn't. It, I actually cut it too small. I was also 30, almost 30 pounds heavier. I was like 20, 25 pounds. I was 25 pounds heavier at the time. So I'm trying to get this dress on. I couldn't. I called my husband and it was, it's a, a dress with no closures. So you slip it on. So I, I call my husband and he's trying to pull this dress down and I became trapped. I was trapped with my arms up and the dress was probably down to about here and my husband was laughing it was hot i was like oh my god help me get this off i can't and he's laughing he said wait a minute let me get the camera so he took a picture of me and then that fail i i don't have that picture to show you but i it was quite funny i shared it with my sisters and my mom and we all got a great laugh off of that one so that was my biggest fail my biggest success is and that was in 2017 so my big success in 2021 was just a couple of months ago I call it my red carpet look where I bought that $8 satin bridal satin from Walmart and I made the two-piece outfit that I wore to a uh, woman's uh, awards banquet and I was really super proud of that one the fit came out really well the it looks expensive or at least to me it does i took my time with the buttons and um it really looks like a a real uh red carpet look for for walmart price okay that was number four and here is number five what is one quote slash saying slash a piece of advice you've gotten that resonates with your sewing YouTube success. Um, there's a couple of quotes, of course, but uh, the first one is, my husband says it all the time. Uh, he, he says, um, don't compare yourself. <laughs> don't compare yourself to anybody. Compete with yourself. Do the best job that you can. So uh, that is be my advice to her. any, uh, not, you don't even have to be on YouTube, but anybody starting in the sewing, starting their sewing journey, don't look at others on YouTube or, or others anywhere else and think to yourself, man, why can't I do that? Or hers looks better or her fit is better. Or I can't, I can't get this technique. Don't compare yourself to somebody else. Really just, work on becoming the best sewer you can and it every day you will find every day you will get better and better and my second quote is it comes from the four agreements i just recently posted this on my instagram but don't take anything personally the that happens a lot with comments and when you become a youtuber you will read comments that um could be a little uh I, I guess sharp or critical or just don't take anything personally the what people what another person comments is really a reflection of themselves it's not a reflection of you because they don't know you <laughs> they don't know you so please don't take that personally that'd be um one of the biggest uh, advice, pieces of advice that I would give anybody starting a YouTube channel. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you.